So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, we are going to send the responses from a Microsoft forum to our email. Not just a notification, but also the response, whatever they fill in, okay? And we're going to do this with Flow. But here's the thing, I couldn't find a way to do uh, forums email directly using Flow, so we need to go via SharePoint. So we will do forums, SharePoint, SharePoint email. If you know how to do it directly, let me know, but I just couldn't find a way. Anyhow, here we have a form. This is to evaluate the DAX Fridays uh, series that I have here on YouTube, and this is a running survey. I, I make it a little bit easy and I'm going to change that, but there are four questions. So, um, just for no question and then for like filling the answers. And then I have created on SharePoint a list that is called DAX Fridays Responses that has the four columns that match, you know, the responses on the forum because we're going to get the data from forums, put it in SharePoint and then move it to email. Okay, are you ready? This is what we're going to do. We go to flow. There are hundreds, if not thousands of templates out there. Don't reinvent the wheel. If there is something, try to find it. So we're going to automate forms and SharePoint first. Okay. So write forms and SharePoint and you'll see which flows are already created. So you can at least get an idea of how that would work. You click search. And the first one looks quite similar to what we want to do, exactly what we want to do. So it is record responses from form to SharePoint. So you click on it, continue. You have to be logged in, obviously. And uh, the only thing that we need to do now is tell which form and which SharePoint list. That's it. So pick a form. It is Tax Friday Survey. One thing, if you created a site or a list exactly minutes before you go into flow, you might not see them. So wait a little or just write it manually, the address, okay? Otherwise you won't find it. Just heads up. So that's right, the survey. As you can see, there are multiple because I was doing some tests before, but this is the one. And then here, you have here, enter custom value. Make sure you enter the address manually, okay? In case you just created it, it won't show. Dark Friday's responses is the name of the list in SharePoint. And now here we are going to map which fields from form should go into which fields from SharePoint. So continue DAX is, um, would you like me to continue doing DAX Friday's tutorials? So three functions that you would like to have a video on. Then is there any video you like? The reason why I ask this is if there is any type of style that you like or you prefer of, you know, all the type, types that I've done through, through the years. And then we have here, which is your least favorite. Okay. And now save. And here it says saved. And you can see here, here you can check if your flow is correct. So you click on there and you will find an error. It will tell you. And here you can test it. And it says either you test it before and you'll have the option. Otherwise it says I'll perform the trigger. Click test, and then you need to go to your form and fill it in. This will, you know, you have to click on preview to actually be able to fill it in. You go in there, you put, I don't know, 22, 33, 44. Thanks. And fingers <laughs> crossed. Yes, according to the flow, it worked. Shall we check? We go into DAX Friday responses and here it is. Okay. So that is working beautifully. Now you can continue these uh, flow and now move the data from SharePoint to Outlook. What I found when I did that, it was that it was very responsive. I don't know why. So I'm going to do another flow for that, but you can give it a go and see if you can make it everything in one. So we go back to home. And we're going to do now SharePoint Outlook. Okay. And it says, uh, send the customized email when a new SharePoint list item is added. That is exactly what we want. 
So it says which SharePoint address is feedback, which SharePoint name is tax files responses, create flow. Click, click, click. My favorite way of coding, click, click, click. Okay, now, not that fast, baby. We need to customize this a little bit. So it says here, when a new item is created, which is, uh, let me get my cheat sheet so, so you can actually see how things work. So it says, when a new uh, item is created, go to an email. If you test this, you will see that it says you send a notification, but it doesn't give you the actual results or the response from the form. And that's what we want. So we need to modify this a little bit. So we're going to add an action and it's called get item. So this will get the data from the list, from the SharePoint list. And which SharePoint list is, is feedback and DAX files responses. And then we're going to store this on an HTML table. We're going to manually create a table. So put HTML, create HTML table from values, the values that we got on the previous step and the columns, we're going to specify them. Otherwise you're going to get something horrible. So we have continue DAX. It is continue DAX, not there, my dear, but there. And then we have um, three functions where you tell me which functions you would like me to do videos on in case I haven't, or if you want me to do a better video. And then this is liked videos. We put, uh, what are they? disliked liked video and then this liked videos here we're going to put a dislike video okay and then get my profile that will go and grab whoever is uh, you have here, you, you get, in this case, we got the name and the email, which we they use then here in send email. And here, I don't want that. What I want is the HTML table, which is the output of the table that we previously created. And this is very important. You have to go to HTML and say yes, otherwise it will not render correctly. So make sure that you do that. And then you click save. And it's saving, saved. And uh, flow checker. Did good, test. I'll perform. We go back to a form, submit another response. Yes, please. And this is 333 444 blank. So we go in here, save and test. Okay, I have to do it again. Um, let's do it. Three, 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 five, five, five. Submit. And now if we did everything correctly, we should get an email that, I'm checking my phone. Yes, according to this, I wanna see it. How cool is that? So now you know how to do it. Let me know if you know how to do it in one step. If you, I, I mean, I did it in one step. It just wouldn't perform well. Uh, but either way, this is one solution. Anyhow, so thank you for watching. And I will see you again on the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.